Members of the Compass School community, welcome to this year's prize giving, recorded at this wonderful setting in St. James's Church, Bermondsey. And also a special welcome to our keynote speaker, Mickey Kelly, Southwark Het teacher of over 20 years, friend of Compass School, and recent recipient of the member of the Order of the British Empire Award. And so another extraordinary year goes by, where we've been challenged across almost all aspects of our lives. Yet, in the midst of these challenges, our school has cemented its place in the community as a school that cares for our pupils. Our Be Kind themed Christmas film was a huge hit, as was our Hampus for Community Champions, which brought together pupils and local businesses to bring much needed Christmas cheer. We continue to educate our pupils, whether face-to-face -face or online, keeping them safe. We saw fantastic levels of engagement with our pupils online during lockdown, and they continued their learning thanks to the hard work of our teachers and parents and carers supporting them. I know how difficult it is to educate our young ones at home. I was there too uh, during the first lockdown. So it's not to be underestimated the efforts that both pupils and families have made. Thank you. Well done. Since their return to school, our pupils have settled back into their routines, being challenged in lessons, enjoying our extracurricular activities and trips, including a fantastic visit to Jamie's farm, this week a trip to Oxford University, and the entire Year 10 saw Macbeth at Theatre Peckham. I was pleased to see Sophie in Year 11 play a starring role as one of Shakespeare's very scary witches. Well done, Sophie. Sports fixtures have also made a return with some healthy competition with Bacons in table tennis, netball and basketball. We look forward to those continuing. During this year, we have shown that we value our pupils for who they are. We've run special activities for Mental Health Awareness Week, Black History Month, Pride, celebrated Eid with our Muslim brothers and sisters. We are truly a community where everyone is respected and valued. However, there's been no greater challenge than that faced by our current Year 11 pupils, who have seen off two national lockdowns and endured great uncertainty regarding how their GCSE grades would be earned. As we formed a guard of honour to applaud them on their exit from school, their final exit, I did shed a tear. There is no greater privilege than serving this community and looking after these pupils and nurturing them through these really important years of their lives. And it was great to see them leaving our school with confidence because they had been members of the Compass School community. One of our Year 11 girls said to me, you're always smiling, sir. And I certainly am because of the fine young people I get to work with and also the wider community, parents, governors, teachers, staff. It's a fantastic community. In this prize giving event, we take time out to show our appreciation to those who have gone above and beyond in their subjects, year groups, or an exemplification of our values. I thank them for their contribution and congratulate the families and carers who've supported them. And there are also those who've made contributions that will not be acknowledged in a grand ceremony, but are valuable nonetheless. Whatever your contribution has been to this year, I thank you for being part of that rich tapestry that is Compass School. Uh, good morning, friends. Good morning, uh, children. Good morning, young people. It's a real pleasure for me to be here this morning in this absolutely gorgeous, Bermondsey Church. This church has stood here for over 200 years. It's a beautiful, beautiful classical building, but more, uh, much more than this. For 200 years, this building has stood witness to countless weddings, promises made in hope and expectation. Here in this place, before the family and friends, many, many young Bermondsey couples have promised their lives to one another. And how many hundred people, hundreds of people have brought their children to be blessed and to be named here. 
and how many thousands have come here for a funeral to say a last goodbye to a friend. There is more in this old place than the bricks and the stones it holds within its heart, the soul of a community. It holds within it part of that thing, that unusual, that unique thing that is Bermondsey. And so it is with your school, Compass. I've known Compass School since its inception. I've known many of the children, the families that have attended over the years. And it's been my pleasure to know your principal, Mr. Huntley. You are blessed in your leader, whose aspiration for this school, integrity and resilience are beyond question. Your school, Compass, is poised to rebuild itself, not just with bricks and mortar, but with purpose, vision and imagination. This school, your school, is now ready to take a bold step into a new future, raising up the peoples and the communities of Bermondsey, its own community, of which it is so rightly proud. There are and there will be many, many other bigger, swankier schools than yours. Schools with more frills, with more airs, with more graces, greater pretensions. But there is no school, no school I know, that stands closer to its people. And you should be proud of your school, as you are proud of your family, and as you should be proud of yourselves. The prizes today are just tokens. It's just a small affirmation of you, of your work, of your effort. You know and I know that the greatest prize lies ahead of each of you. The prize is to make a success of your life and to fully understand what that means for you and to you. For some it may be money, for some it might be fame, but I ask you to look around you. Not to the celebrities, not to the Cardassians of this world, not to some fantasy love island but to the good people around you that you already know. What is it in your friends, your family that you admire? The loyalty, the honesty, the honor that lights your life already. And yes, find contentment in small things, but don't be shy to stretch for the big prize. Don't let something pass you by because you did not put your hand out to reach for it because you didn't have the gumption or the self-belief to strive for it. The world is full of fools that will tell you how small you are, of what you can do and what you can't do. It may suit the world for you to be a small thing. It may suit the world to keep you in a box with your shoe size stamped on it and to fill you with self-doubt. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? To think that you can take on the world, that you can face down the toughest competitions. Do you come from a good enough family? Do you come from a good enough school? You are made in Bermondsey. That is an upside, said. Your roots run deep. Your school a compass to the future. If you want it, go for it. If you don't get it, go for it again and go harder this time and again and again. If you really want something, be prepared to fail. To fall flat in your face, be prepared to look foolish. And then, before they even stop laughing, you get up and you try again. It's a bit like Doctor Who. It's a bit of a time slip here. I'm speaking to you from last Friday. I know we've beaten Denmark, and what a match that was. Hard fought, well won. Should it have been a penalty? I don't care. It went in, didn't it? It was a goal. How does the match with Italy go? I don't know when you do. <laughs> it's terrible. Of course it matters, and of course it doesn't matter. If we won on the back of many, many bitter defeats, it is all the sweeter for it. If we lost, however bitter, do we trash the team? Do we curse Southgate? Do we stop playing football? Stop supporting England? Will there never be flags again on the Kirby estate? No. I guess we get up and try again, and again, and again. If people stopped supporting a team because they're lost, there would be no Millwall fans in the world. You need not ask how victory can be built from the darkness of defeat. Compass School is built on the ruins of a much older school, Keaton's Road School. At the very start of the Blitz, that school, 
was used as an evacuation centre, packed with refugees in the bombing of Rotherhead. The school was demolished by a German bomb with significant loss of life. The aim of the racist Nazis was to intimidate and frighten the people of Bermondsey and of England into surrender. In that dark moment of history, when England stood alone, defeat seemed inevitable and victory an impossible dream. So let history be our teacher here. Do not let go of the impossible dream. Work to make it happen. And for all of the talk of divisions and all the talk of our differences, of taking the knee or not taking the knee, we can and we do come together where we have good leaders, where we forge a common purpose. The England of Harry Kane and Jack Grealish is the England of Raheem Sterling and Marcus Rashford. This school, your school, has shown that strength of leadership to ensure that all, for a, that all work for a common purpose. All children of the new Bermondsey can and do thrive and grow together. So to each of you who have won a prize, who have excelled in your endeavour, well done. You are the light and you are the leaven in our community. Your example shows the way to others. Thank you for what you have given our school. Thank you for lifting us up. Compass is a small school, but a small school with a big heart. We punch way above our weight. Watch out, because here comes Compass. A great school in a great place serving a great people. We move forward to a great future. Thank you. you know, firstly, we want our children to strive, but we also want, want them to know that they are enough. You yeah. know? You're, not, you're, you're, not just, you're not just a small thing. You're not just a wee thing. You are enough who you are. Your family, your community are enough. Yeah. You know? You're good enough at, as you are. But actually, knowing that means that you can stretch yeah. Knowing that means you can reach out. Knowing that means that you can absolutely take the world by the tail. She wouldn't even Absolutely. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs>
And the year seven French student of the year is Isabella Lynch for a fantastic attitude to work and going above and beyond. Thank you, Isabella. The Mathematician of the Year Award in Year 7 goes to Tia. Um, she is an outstanding student who always works diligently in math lessons, completing tasks to an exceptionally high standard. Um, we are very proud of you. Keep up the hard work and you will continue to make excellent progress. The Inclusion Year 7 Award goes to Jessica Pope Dwan. Jessica has been resilient throughout this academic year. She has continued to work hard to overcome some of the barriers and challenges of learning. She's been truly aspirational in also helping her friends and peers to overcome some of their challenges as well. She's a great and true teacher in the making. We are very proud of you, Jess. Keep reaching for success and enjoy your summer holiday and look forward to see you in year eight for reaching for more success. Take care and God bless. Uh, the year seven geographer of the year goes to Hug. Miss Melling wanted to say an amazing year. Uh, year seven coming into the school, just potentially doing a subject for the first time in geography. You've been excellent, very well done, keep it up. And the year seven historian of the year goes to Amelia for her great historical mind and approach to learning this year. So these are the awards for enrichment and enrichment's been a curious and wonderful journey this uh, this year with COVID, with lockdown and then coming back to school. So I went around to all the enrichment teachers and asked them to nominate somebody who would be great that represents all our values and all the things that you need to extend yourself beyond the classroom. In performing arts, we have Jose the Childs. Uh, in singing, we have Jessica Pope Dawn. Piano. Uh, with Lottie O'Hara and Julian Kaufman and Kwame Darty, 100% in football. Uh, Science and Film, Cho Cho, Tai Han Hun in What's Your Monster? And finally in Leatherwork, Katie Caulfield. So for all our wonderful young people and all our fantastic enrichments at Compass, congratulations. The first Year 7 Head of Year Award goes to Ben Collymore for showing the Compass values every day in all that he does He's always got a smile on his face and he's a kind and caring young man and a real pleasure to be part of our Year 7s. The second Head of Year 7 award goes to Tilly Ray Pace. She worked extremely hard in virtual school and has never let things get her down. She stands up for what she believes in and has been extremely brave uh, talking to Mr Huntley to share her views and her valid opinions on our non-uniform day a brave young lady who will go far here at Compass. It gives me great pleasure to announce the winners of our main prizes for the year, and I'm most grateful for the support of our sponsors. The Rushville Company of Courier's Prize for Exploration is awarded to George Thomas. George is curious about everything, asking questions, seeking knowledge, and making sure he shares this knowledge with others. His exploration continues outside of school, where he's an active and philanthropic member of his community. Congratulations, George. The Governor's Prize for Integrity is awarded to Bridget Castillo Caicedo. Bridget is a real embodiment of integrity, an honorable and principled student who is virtuous both in lessons and around school. She genuinely wants to do her best and emulates these qualities to her peers. She goes above and beyond to support non-English speaking students while also striving to better herself. Congratulations, Bridget. The Shat Thames Residents Association Prize for Resilience is awarded to Jake McInerney. This year has been extremely challenging for Jake, but he has gracefully risen to the challenges presented him. He has shown real resilience and strength both in school and when life is proving to be challenging. He's picked himself up time and time again and continued to pursue his education as his number one priority. Congratulations, Jake. The Worshipful Company of Pewterers Prize for Aspiration is awarded to Katie Lucas. Katie's hardworking and grabs opportunities with both hands. She's mature beyond the, her years and has a vision for herself to be the best she can be. Her work as a prefect and on the school council is phenomenal, and she's now turned her attention to trying to be part of the Southwark Youth Parliament. She is truly an aspirational student. Congratulations, Katie. 
And finally, the Principal's Prize sponsored by Grosvenor UK and Ireland is awarded to Nabil Adams. Nabil's aspiration is unrivaled in the school, surpassing academic targets and top scoring across all our core values. This has happened because Nabil is so driven to succeed, always willing to answer questions, develop his answers, and he takes on extra work to help himself progress, including enrichment through the Greenhouse Table Tennis Program. We're excited to see him continue on his journey at Compass School. Congratulations, Nabil. That concludes this year's prize giving award ceremony. I would like to pass on my thanks to Canon Gary Jenkins of St. James's for allowing us to use this fantastic church. And I'd love to wish you all, all members of the Compass School community, a very safe and restful summer break.